I mean, my big worry was ADP was uh, bad. Maybe we're going to have some sort of sudden uh, fall off. There are there are two companies that are really important for today's narrative uh, in terms of uh, what retailers are doing. RH, a terrific number where uh, Gary Freeman said, look, basically we're, we've mitigated the tariffs, but more important, our customers are uh, willing to pay because we've got uh, uh, way up. And then five below. Matthew Boss, great story. They, this is the first company that actually is making money off the tariffs. They have actually more than mitigated. They've raised price. They go to 550 now. It's not just five below. And you know what? It's sticking. We keep thinking, why isn't the economy falling apart from the tariffs? Well, you talk to five below. They had the best numbers that they've ever had, and they put through the tariffs. The answer is, well, the, he's, we got some great executives in this country. What if we got to change the name to six below, right? Well, he's doing a 10 below. He's doing a 10 below. <laughs> You know, I've asked this question of a number of the executives we've had on in the retail industry because they have taken um, cost out of the business. Right. They've garnered efficiencies they might not otherwise have gone after, whether it's in their supply chain or wherever, how they had to do it. If, in fact, you have the tariffs come off, the <laughs> margins are still going to be there, uh, and they're going to be even stronger than they are right now. That would be just like when we saw plastic go up, a lot of the the consumer packaged food companies raised price, then plastic went down. Did anything go down at the supermarket? No. That's why Procter & Gamble, take a look at their margins. Transportation costs went down. Stock's going up 20 points just on the strength of the fact that they had price increases that stuck. Right. And uh, it costs that went down. Pretty amazing. Uh, meanwhile, people have taken note of China stocks with relative calm, given all the trade uncertainty. Some are beginning to suspect maybe some state-sponsored help, Right. Well, I Maybe know they get more aggressive on stimulus, get I, more involved in. I think they have to. I mean, there's been uh, when I was talking to PPG, I mentioned it with Phil, their biggest, their best market is Chinese cars. They, they've seen a bit of a pickup. Pickup. Cars are really the leading indicator of how an economy is doing. I know also we've seen, I was on with the Nigerians yesterday, the stocks that have the most options. What, what, you call it, what do you call it? You call it unusual activity? Yeah. Is uh, minerals. Minerals that play tech. Remember, David, we did a, a, a delivering alpha and a, a hedge fund manager said he liked China, he liked tech, T-E-C-K. Yes. Not T-E-C-H, T-E-C-K. That was a couple of years ago, yeah. yeah. It was a good call. Yeah. Um, the, I thought there was some concern at PPG in terms of autonomous cars eventually and what that's going to mean for the coatings business. Well, it, it's funny. For example, Exalta. Which well, some people think they're going to buy them. Been for sale, which right. you know. But I've heard there's concern about that part of the business. What autonomous eventually will mean in terms of overall car buying, and what that will mean for those. Who I was hoping that he would be more bullish on autonomous. I've been hoping that Nvidia would be more bullish on autonomous. I've been hoping that the new Google would be more bullish. Autonomous is something that is being pushed back. Uh, and one of the reasons why I've been pushed back in terms of PPG, I mentioned to Phil. You know, when you have a, a Let's say you have slush and you have salt in the east. Remember, a lot of Tesla sold in California. Let's say you have bad weather. Right. Well, those, those batteries are suspect without lots of coatings. And that's what Michael McGarry was saying to me. And uh, the, they just, as Phil said, they haven't worked it out yet. Now, Tesla's got something cooking, no doubt about it. But GM sure hasn't worked it out. And a lot of it has to do with the fact the cost of the battery. Just in terms of covering the battery properly so that it doesn't get corroded. Right. And that is, of course... Uh, <laughs> Mr. McGarry says, it'd be like, you know, one of the issues you kind of don't want is fire. Yeah, fire would be bad. Fire bad. Bad. Fire bad. Fire bad. True.